One good thing about the dumbbells is you can get a better range of motion, bigger range of motion than you can with, with the bar. You get about 15 or 16 reps with those, so it's going to be kind of a warm up. More so than one of the, the main sets. We'll move on up to 25 and see how that feels. Depending on how that feels, we'll determine whether or not that's a warm up, another warm up, or a actual one of the sets that you can. I'm going to count toward the four. So, So I got about 10 reps there, and we're looking for eight, so I'm going to use that as a warm-up. Put them down right there, get a drink real quick, and then move up to 30s. One of the great things about having extra dumbbells like this at home is it makes it like it's at the gym where you can just go from dumbbell to dumbbell without having to change the weights. I've got up to from five pounds, two and a half pounds all the way up to 30s that are that I've fastened where they stay in place. And you can see these are old. Part of these are just old. Uh, 10 pound cement and plastic covered place, but they, they serve a purpose. There's no use, no reason to throw them away. They work. So, here we go. <sighs> Eight reps. So uh, ease those back down in the place, and then real quick, short break, and then move up. We'll move up to 35s, which I got lucky, and they're already set up from that from yesterday. So uh, you can plan ahead, especially if you have a couple sets of adjustable dumbbells. Plan ahead and kind of have them already set up so you don't have so much extra work to do. Even just that couple, a minute or a minute and a half that it takes you to change your weights at home, that slows down on your workout. So little things like that you learn over the years from doing stuff like this. So here we go. Right. 
think that was eight. I'm not sure. I may have lost count and did nine. I'm not sure. Always, if you if you think you don't have enough, maybe do one more if you can. It's not going to hurt you to do an extra rep. So that was pretty challenging. I'm going to try to add a two and a half on the side and see how it feels. Shoulders are really starting to get warmed up now. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight and, and see how it goes. You never want to uh, sacrifice your form just for a little extra weight. It's just not worth it. You'll see a lot of guys, especially young guys, they'll try to be so worried about how much weight they're lifting that they, uh, they really sacrifice their form and get ugly and just get where it's not. They're not even getting anything out of it. So you really don't want to do that. You honestly don't even... Only reason you kind of look at the way is it kind of gives you an idea, but it's not overly important. Like I said before, your muscles don't know the numbers, and, but your, your deltoids, you're not saying, oh look, there's a 45 pound dumbbell, let's do that, or it's saying, oh, how, how, how hard, how much weight is that? All they know is the tension, the time under tension. So forget about the numbers, and it's a hard thing to do, but think about resistance. for now actually gonna uh, maybe try to add a little bit more resistance so that means I'm gonna have to change plates so that's all right so and changing dumbbell plates at home is a it's something in and of itself that you learn you learn little things about how to do it the longer you do the stuff that kind of help you move you along so I know I'm gonna go from I'm gonna go from 40 to 45 so I'm gonna keep the two and a halves here close by where I can get to them and then I'm gonna take the fives and I'm gonna put them, put them over on the steps And as I'm coming back, I'm going to grab a set of seven and a half to replace the fives that I just took off. And I'm going to add the two and a half on top of the seven and a half. So that's going to be 45 pounds. And these dumbbells adjust pretty easily. I've got the spin collars. So, something you want to, if you're working at home, something you probably want to look into is a, 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 gun, a pair of dumbbells that's easy to adjust. They don't have to be super fancy. You don't have to get those power blocks and all that stuff that's going to cost you. A lot of money you get a good set of adjustable dumbbell bars at Walmart probably for $12 and 
And then a lot of times you can buy the set where it comes with with the weights with like 40 or 30 or 40 pounds with them. So stuff does not have to be super expensive to be effective. So here we go. 45, last set of eight. Always trying to get into a habit of staying in that good range of motion, not too low, not too high. So those are shoulder presses. The last set was was challenging like it should be for the last set. So we're gonna move on to the next exercise.